to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. You are here, and you are saying, Apostle, I need Jesus. I came and I saw the mighty move of God and this that is about to happen. I truly need Jesus. I want to start afresh or oh, I'm rededicating my life. No matter where you are, if you are in this auditorium, around the gallery, please, whilst we're clapping, I'd like you to leave that place very quickly and come and stand here. Run like there's fire on the mountain. Come to Jesus. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Please stand. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set our hearts on you. Thank you very much. All those who are coming, overflow one, two, three, the basement, outside, by the roadside, those following, those of you who are watching me by way of the internet from the US to UK, Asia, Africa, it's time to make it right with Jesus Christ. It's my joy and honor, what a harvest, the very first day. What a harvest. Listen to me. Many of you are making this decision for the first time. Some of you are rededicating your lives. It doesn't matter. No man condemns you. He gives you room to start afresh with him again. Please make sure you don't interrupt His Excellency protocol. Let there be people there, please, who are hallelujah praise the Lord look at me my dear people everybody ah, there will be such an outpouring in this place right now don't think it will be this quiet let me just finish the altar call praise the name of the Lord this is koinonia those of you who are out here, please look at me. Hold on, please. You know, there are some of you, maybe just one minute, just to reorient our minds. There are some of us here who just come out for altar call, but we are not intending to be serious with God. God wants to help us, but we must be ready to be serious with God. Are we together? The grace is supplied, but we must take advantage of it. I thank you, all of you, for coming. This is, this is a mighty move of the Spirit. I'd like you to lift your right hand. All of the overflows, those following online, you're following from your house. You can just go on your knees or lift it up to Jesus. Please say this loud and clear from the depth of your heart. You're not reciting a poem. 
let it be from the depth of your heart those outside even if you are by the roadside say it you can still be saved say Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Tonight, tonight I have heard your word I believe in you that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Tonight, I receive eternal life. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that my sins are forgiven. I receive the life of God from today and forever. I go forward ever and backward never. Keep your hands lifted. Father, we present to you the ones Jesus died for. Thank you because you are the only one who is able to save unto the uttermost. I pray according to the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven and i declare in the name of jesus christ that a new beginning starts for you Amen. receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness Amen. i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the holy spirit Amen. i pray that from today you are built you are established in the name of jesus Amen. i'm going to pray for you but there are two of you just standing here the power of God is going to come on you I'm seeing that evil spirit must go this is koinonia huh? so uh, that's one there I command that spirit to go now in the name of Jesus help them if it is true that is Jesus that you came to meet him no you shouldn't go back the same so there will be the first fruit. Every spirit, those in front here, if there is any spirit that ties you down, right now I speak as one sent, that you leave their destinies now and forever. Now and forever. In the name of Jesus, out of their lives, out of their destinies. Halis kebranda kusiata, shila prosiziata baratia. I declare you are free free forever now very quickly please look at me all of you you will be back shortly but I want you to follow the counselor he's lifting a placard there please just follow them very quickly there will be a group of people who will just follow up on you and then you will join the service let's appreciate them as they go <laughs> hallelujah are you ready to pray? I think you should pray for me first. Because if I pray for you, you will not be able to pray for me. Is that, is that, a, good, is that a good deal? I want to do something prophetic. If you will allow me. This is what I want to do. When you are done praying for me, I'm going to invite, respectfully speaking, Reverend Godwin Abba. He will just come and coordinate the prayer for me. Once you are done, I want to do something prophetic. Thank you. I will plead. I know this was not part of the plan, but I will plead with His Excellency. I will plead with him to come and release a grace for governance <laughs> hallelujah i will also plead with dr stanel stanley to just release a grace for entrepreneurship and business <laughs> hallelujah i will plead with our father prof as a professor he will release grace for those who are in the academia is, is that all right and then i will also plead with um reverend reverend abba again just by way of of uh, being that he's he's a direct son 
to the principal authorities you know within this land at least you can stand representing him to speak over this territory and i pray for you do you believe in prophecy is that all right so reverend godwin please come sir just two three minutes so that you will pray for me when you pray for me i will invite this great great vessels of the nation and of the gospel to just speak that word and then I will just pray and we're done. Thank you, Father. Um, if we're still seated, please let's stand to our feet by the mercies of God. What a season, what a time, what an hour, what a moment. The Bible says, no man take this honor upon himself. But he that is called of God, as was Aaron, anytime the calling is there, the equipment is there. Anytime the calling is there, the weapon of manifestation and the weapon for manifestation is there. Anytime the calling is there, there are legions of angels that are released to bear witness and command the manifestation of that which God has deposited in the life of the called. Man of God, we give God praise for a season like this. And we thank God for adding to us a vessel like you. We honor and love you, sir. The Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like you to stretch forth your hands towards God's servant here. And say, Father, back this calling with your armor. In a higher dimension. In a higher level. At a higher realm of operation. Back the calling with your armor. Any calling that lacks the honor faces reproach. Increase your honor upon the life of your servant. For no man take this honor upon himself. But he that is called of God, as was Aaron, let the honor that backs the calling be made manifest right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And lingri pado shetaliado. In Jesus mighty name I have prayed and this sign shall follow them that believe one of the things that made the ministry of jesus to stand that was the manifestation of the signs and wonders when jesus was done teaching they said this one does not speak like other men they speak like one sent by god lord we ask for the manifestation of the higher dimension of the miraculous the manifestation of a higher dimension of power upon the life of your son and your servant in the name of Jesus while he has spoken there were signs and wonders taking place in the house the Bible said the blind they saw the lame they walked out the dead were brought back to life we ask for the manifestation of power of signs of wonders of the miraculous in the name of jesus let that grace be deposited in the higher dimension let that oil be released in the greater level and linger below and break his day and liga rapata and leave a Jesus stepped into a city and the Bible says 
everywhere were filled even to the doors the crowd was so much that the friends that came with the leprous person they didn't have access to step in they have to pull off the roof of the room where they were gathered because of the choked nature of the place where the carcass are there is a gathering where grace is there is the commanding of attention father what we saw here today what you're saying right now may it not diminish the power for attraction the grace for attention the oil that magnets the congregation let it increase upon the life of your son and your servant in the name of jesus the light that magnets the power that pulls let it increase let it multiply upon the life of your servant lift up your voice as you begin to pray for the magnetic grace that power that could pull attention that power that commands attention generational attention transgenerational attention and live barack at age in la mano tight in la back in la catasia la catata and lebrain coco so in la mama na and live barack at that and solo bade shiada in la bracada saya and live barack at that in the name of jesus christ the hand for preservation the grace for protection let it increase and multiply upon your servant oh god baba keep him from evil eyes and make him unreachable by evil hands in the name of jesus begin to pray for him right now for the preservation power of god the protective grace of god the anointing to keep they are mighty for longevity. They are mighty for sound health and strong health. But the weight upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagle. Lord, we thank you for the strength of the eagle. We thank you for the strength of the horse. We thank you for the vitality and the courage of the lion. Let it rest upon your son and your servant. The name of Jesus thank you father greater access to resources greater access to greater resources all round resources let it be made available to your son and your servant oh God lift up your voice as you begin to pray that prayer greater access to resources human resources Financial resources, material resources, spiritual resources, greater access, and nika gay, and nima maya, and let bring go to so in la baragada day, in la bragada shiada, and limba ragadesha, and legate bua, pine to bad in the name of Jesus Christ. Elijah speaking to Elisha, he said, if you see me when I am being taken, what you desire will rest upon you. God's servant, the apostle say, you will speak on behalf of your father by the message of God in all humility. One of the vessels that God has handed this territory over to by the message of God. And Apostle, I appreciate the recognition of that grace. I appreciate the recognition of that grace upon the life of my spiritual father, Dr. Pastor Paul and Nature, to be precise. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I also believe that it's a vessel and a man that you will get in touch with if you've not done that yet by the message of God. We are privileged to have that servant of God as a blessing not just to the city but to the continent and beyond the continent by God's grace one of the voices in our time speaking to both demonic powers and the powers that be 
That one is the story of his own and his father another time. That which you desire that he carries by mercy and the privilege of connection and not so from proxy by that which he would have loved to do if he were to be present. With demand and command, they drop him right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, with all sense of humility and by virtue of the privilege of connectivity to my spiritual father, Dr. Pastor Paul and Nancy, whom your servant there demands that that just flows in him be dropped here. I pray for the backing and the witnessing of the heavens. I pray for the backing and the witness, O oh Lord God, of your grace that as your servant Apostle Joshua desires that that which your servant Dr. Pastor Paul and Nature carries, Father drops here. Let it be. 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 In the name of Jesus. From this day we command the opening of the heavens. We speak to the four corners of the earth. We speak to the contents of the earth. To yield to this grace. Answer to this calling. And let the name and the name of the Lord alone be glorified forever. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. And in the name of God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus mighty name have we prayed. Let somebody shout that amen at the top of your voice. God bless you real good. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, please listen. We, we're in very prophetic moments right now. I want you to pay attention. It is, it is truly a rare privilege. Um, I'm so sorry that we couldn't. Uh, there are people, um, alumni and graduates of the uh, NIPS, the Nigerian Institute. I honor you. Sorry we may not have that time. Um, there are several people members of parliament, honorable members, senate, there are just a few, a handful that we're aware of. I'm aware that there are some of you who declined coming to the front. We honor you wherever you are. You have come from several places. Praise the Lord. And, um, but it's truly an honor um, for me and then for all of us to have this father and this veteran one who has held the scepter in this nation to come and speak and prophesy listen there are some of you this is why god brought you here there is a grace for governance and it does not just happen so um, as the protocol leads him to just come and just speak a blessing we are trusting god that god will do the new here are we together the honor of being a one-time Senate president is an honor that you should not take for granted. Praise the Lord. We are using him as a point of contact to speak to the territory and to establish the fact that this territory, this region, this move will always remain a move of influence, not just spiritually speaking, but even to government. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome His Excellency. Is that the best you can do?
where people are crying. Our institutions are broken down. The future appears bleak. But our hope is in you. Our hope is in you. Our trust is in you. And so, Lord, in Egypt, your people were oppressed. And when they cried unto you, you raised Moses. Father, now is the time. Father, in Israel, there was a failure of governance. When Saul failed you, you raised David. Lord, raise David. Raise your David over Nigeria. Raise your David over Nigeria. Raise your David over the 36 states. Raise your David over the local government. Locate your David amongst your children. Let your grace locate them. Let your grace strengthen them. Father, visions come from you. No man can of his own do it. Identify your David and vision him to lead your people out of this situation. Take glory, Lord. Take honor. Be magnified, Lord. For we pray in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Please, may I invite Dr. Stanley? Yes, sir. God bless you. Please honor him. He's coming to speak over business people and those who are in business of all sorts. And truly, he's a man that God has helped. And we honor you for what you represent. Thank you so much, sir. Hallelujah. Bless you. Thank you, Apostle, for thank this you. great privilege. Father, we thank you. We worship you, Lord. Apostle, my father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. Paul in nature says, a man cannot give what he does not have. He says, it takes a man that has been there to take you there. And by the mercies of God, I stand here as one that has been blessed by God. And I decree the same anointing that brought me from the backside and positioned me on the front side. I decree that same anointing be replicated in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that same direction that I got that directed me to the right path of destiny. I decree that young men and women who are trusting God for direction, I ask so Lord that you receive direction in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare all those that have what to do, I decree the same hand that rested upon our business, that made us, brought us from the backside and brought us to the front side. That same hand is resting upon the work of your hand. In the name of Jesus, I eliminate confusion. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. We give you the praise, we give you the glory. We give you the honor, we give you the adoration. Be thou glorified. Thou magnified in Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you, sir. I'd like us to please very quickly. Um, I just thought to do this. Um, I'm sure it may be a surprise for Honorable. Please, I may request you to come. He is the first black man to be an honorable member in Poland. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, we, met, we met on a flight and honestly, he's truly a humble man. To go to another land, he will represent the grace for influence even in a strange land. And I want him to come and just speak that decree. Is that all right? 
doctor, sir. God bless you. Let's honor him. Please pay attention to these graces as you receive them. God bless you. Holy are you, Lord God Almighty? What is the As a missionary to Poland and raising me in that nation father in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I prophesy over these ones that are here that you shall shoot them as arrows into the nations father you told us in years past that you are going to throw Nigerians shoot Nigerians into the nations Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and declare that this shall come to pass. In Jesus' name. Grace unto you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Very quickly, please, let me invite our father, Professor J.S. Murray. Let's honor him. Celebrate him as he comes. As he releases that anointing, please open up your heart, all of you connected to the academia, and receive by the Spirit. Praise the Lord. I say, Praise the Lord. You know, there's knowledge that comes from the head. There's knowledge that comes from the heart. I wish I knew the one that comes from the heart earlier. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I say, I wish I knew the one that comes from the heart earlier. Praise the Lord. He said, I have to say this so that we become mindful of what Apostle is releasing over us. Praise the Lord. You see, we are operating in an altar. You know, I see, you see, Apostle as a man who has sacrificed himself on the altar of God, consumed by a lot, and God is sending him as a light to drive out darkness from the universe. <laughs> and it's planting what that belongs to heaven on earth. Praise the Lord. There is a knowledge I got to know late. You see, it comes from the heart. And when you are seated with people, you tell them what they bow to know. I hear me very well. You see, by this knowledge that the Lord revealed to me of recent, I release it over you in the name of Jesus. I decree that sign on cars, sign on aeroplane, will be replaced by the cross because the wisdom will come from the church. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. I, look, the, 
the knowledge that comes from the head now cease to operate in you. Amen. It will come from the heart. Amen. It will be directed by the Lord. Amen. The creator of the universe. Amen. I decree that every theory on earth will come from the church. Amen. I decree that every innovation on earth will come from the church. I decree that every Nobel Prize on earth will be received by the man in the church. Amen. Your eyes will not see the physical. Amen. But your eye will come from heaven. Amen. You will rewrite things that men have written. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Go and rule the world. Amen. Go and show signs. That our God is the creator of heaven and earth. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. No more failure in the church. Amen. You see, when your grace comes, other grace will be separated by a hundred. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, it, it just occurred to me to do this. Um, sadly, we're not able to have her here, um, but we had a moment and I was very humbled. She prayed for me this morning, um, our mother, Mama Sarah Omako. Even though she's not here physically, she wasn't able to make it, um, but my biological mother is here, but I have, listen, 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 hold on. One of the blessings in my life is that I have so many mothers. My life is surrounded by and with intercessors. I don't know why they are largely women, mothers. For some of them is their covenant with God. They pray for me day and night. And one of these amazing mothers is in this place and truly she's a mother indeed she's one of the women who um, she has watched the investment the grace of God upon my life and she has been a major pillar a major support and this for me is an opportunity to truly truly honor her ladies and gentlemen please let me call her to speak the blessing of a mother our mother, Mommy Ojela Day, please. Let's celebrate as she comes. Protocol help her, please. Is this the best you can do? Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Lord, we just want to thank you. Most high God, we worship you. Our everlasting Father, first of all, we thank you for this gift in apostle that you have given to us. We thank you, most high God, that you chose him for this assignment. We thank you that you helped him to give himself to the Lord. Lord, we pray that you will keep him for us. Amen. We pray, most high, that your anointing upon him will be multiplied. Amen. Father, we pray, just as so many graces has been released upon us tonight, Lord God Almighty, I pray, especially tonight on every woman, on every mother, on every lady, that the type of women that we read about in the Bible that did exploits for God, such graces will be released upon us all in the name of Jesus. Oh, we will stand to do great and mighty things for the Lord. The passion and the zeal of God will be made manifest upon our lives. Oh, we will seek no other person in our life, first of all, to live for God. 
and to show forth his power in the name of Jesus. I decree tonight that the love of God will consume us. That the love of God will descend powerfully upon our lives. Oh, that the robe of righteousness will be seen in our lives. Wherever we go, Lord, people will see Christ in us. I pray, Lord God Almighty, that the vision you've given us tonight, we will be carriers to every area we go in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, we will not disappoint you. We will not fail you. We will not falter. We pray for all our men, the young men in our midst. They will be all that God expects them to be. They will be representative of God in their homes, in their schools, in their places of work, in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the Almighty God will make us shine for his glory. In every family, in every area where we walk, everywhere we are found, the light of God will come and shine forth in the name of Jesus. Nigeria will be turned round for God in Jesus' name. Oh, our God is a turnaround God. We will go out from this place and turn this nation around in the name of Jesus. And the power of God will be made manifest. Father, we thank you. Ancient of days we are done. We thank you for the privilege of being your children. It's such an honor. We worship you, Lord, and we say thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm a product of many anointings. And the speakings of men are very powerful because God hides his anointing, his grace in men. I'd like you to please <clears throat> be patient. We're almost done. But I, I just feel that it's important to at least just make this decree. This is our first night. This is the inaugural service. There should be proofs that you came. Hallelujah. Uh, I want to tell you with all due diligence, we have honored the fathers and the veterans in the land. <clears throat> We're not rebels. Praise the Lord. We have secured their prayer, their blessings, because we are sincere people, we are visionary people. One of the prayers that Bishop Abioye prayed for me is what I want to start with tonight to pray for you. He said the grace that makes ease, that makes things happen easily. Please, you don't have to kneel. And I know he prayed from the depth of his heart. In the name that is above all names. That name Ebenezer. Let it speak over your life. When mommy Sarah laid hands and prayed she made a statement and when we were at the office she said something to me she said there is a grace for ease that is on our ministry same thing in the name of jesus let me tell you hardship is not a good thing oh don't don't ever embrace it it, it can interrupt many useful things in your life i pray that this grace that came from the throne routed through the, the patriarchs and the matriarchs in this city that makes for ease. I stretch my hands. May that grace rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The grace that brings encounters to a man Please be sensitive and pray now. You don't have to bring anyone under the anointing outside. We don't have that time. But in the name of Jesus, I am praying. There is a grace that draws men and really helps them to see an unfolding of deep things in the spirit. I release that grace upon you now. I stand by the privilege 
of the apostolic and the prophetic and i declare i speak to the two lift gates of your destiny be open now 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 the bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah caris copradicia and he overtook the chariots of Israel. I want to release a grace for speed. Just help those under the anointing. Father, by the grace of God, I declare. I don't know how it has been before now, but I declare speed. Take that grace now. Speed in your life. Speed in your destiny. Help them, please. Speed in your family. Overflows outside. Speed. Speed in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, And the king sent for Joseph, and they brought him out of his dungeon. I prophesy to the north, the south, the east, and the west. Everywhere the helpers of your destiny are positioned. I command them to appear now. Please help them. I command them to appear now. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. The Bible says, Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows. I decree and declare, the grace that distinguishes, may that grace rest mightily upon you. Hallelujah. I was preaching in Rogic and I please permit me to honor the woman of God, Pastor Mrs. Bimbo Ekweme. God bless you. We truly honor you. Thank you. Apostle Goodhart couldn't make it. He traveled. But listen, while I was preaching there at the conference, I was studying and the Spirit of God told me, to pray for the grace upon the people the grace for visibility believe me people of god let me tell you being gifted is one thing but there is a grace that gives you visibility the bible says john remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing there are many gifts listen some of you are in ministry you truly are gifted some of you are in business like Dr. Stanley prophesied over you, but it looks like the gate. And the revelation came from Acts chapter 12. That the Bible says how that they bound Peter and prayers were going on by the church. And the Bible says an angel came, loose his chain, brought him out of the first gate, out of the second gate. He says he came to an iron gate that opened up to the city. There is a gate that opens a man to the city. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare the gate that must be opened for your influence, for your gift, for your product to find expression. Receive that grace now. Hallelujah. The Bible says certain men came to David in the cave of Adullam. Even though they met him hiding, they bound themselves with a covenant to help him that he must become king. Let me tell you this. No matter how great you are, your exploits is predicated on the quality of the people that believe in you and stand by you. No matter how anointed you are. The gift of men is a grace that God can bring faithful men faithful men father where are the people who must show up over someone's destiny someone's ministry wherever they are by the spirit we call them into your life now hallelujah listen it's one thing for people to believe you be conscious of what you are receiving but it's another thing for people to stand up and bless you 
the bible says god restored the captivity of job job 42 verse 10 and he says his friends came and everybody came with a bag of money when saul met samuel he said on your way back you will find three men holding two loaves of bread they will salute you and give it to you there is a real grace for favor esther chapter 2 and verse 15 and esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her exodus 3 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians it shall come to pass that as you go you shall not go empty i decree and declare the kind of favor required to accelerate your life i declare may that favor rest upon you whatever has destroyed your prayer life that it has gone down the grace to pray the grace to fast completely gone right now fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar the grace to intercede the grace to pray the grace to wait upon the lord the grace to create changes in prayer receive that grace in the name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord the bible says and jacob dug a well and the philistines came and covered it he dug another well they covered it he dug the third one and they left him he called it rehoboth he said god has given me my own space there is a grace for territory where the your portion in a land is kept and left for you in the name of jesus wherever your portion is in this land i stand in partnership with the grace upon the fathers in this land and i declare that you locate that which is yours in the name of jesus christ now in the name of jesus christ we're wrapping up I want to pray for the grace that draws the ministry of the Holy Spirit to him. Listen, we are made by our fellowship with him. This one, there is a strong grace that will come on you. I want you to believe it. There is a grace, an engracing to wait, to stay until you are furnished, until you are made. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. From the front to the back, the left to the right, everyone who must carry this grace. Father, call people, call people into dimensions of intimacy. Call people. Receive that grace. Intimacy with the Holy Spirit. It's a fire that is resting on you. Receive that grace. Help them please receive that grace. The overflows outside receive that grace. You will never be the same. I release you with a hunger for spiritual things. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray the last prayer point for tonight. There is the spirit of revelation access it's a fellowship into the mystery you are called it's not just something you study you are called into the fellowship of this mystery and as much as the lord has shown us mercy and helped us i stretch my hands there are people who must drink of that grace i stretch my hands access to depths revelations of the spirit carry that grace now carry that grace in the name of jesus carry that grace in the name of jesus carry that grace in the name of jesus hallelujah anyone here appointed to death that death is following you following your family members i stand by the god of heaven we declare cancelled now Cancelled now. 
cancelled now cancelled now in the name of Jesus Christ praise the Lord now please listen just help those under the anointing if you are sick in your body just lay your hands there right now we have to pray you are sick in your body I apologize we may not have a time for we this is this is something that is ongoing so we have to respect time but I just want to speak over we cannot end the meeting without speaking over the sick help them please help them every spirit hear me my goodness I'm seeing chains this is what I'm seeing in the spirit chains in the name of Jesus anyone who is bound by any demonic force hear the word of the Lord I stand as one sent and I decree and declare my God I'm seeing fire rest on people I command those devils be gone now be gone now every strange spirit that is not of the Christ I release you from their influence now in the name of Jesus be healed now blood conditions be healed now bone conditions be healed now all kinds of abnormalities be healed now eye conditions be healed now for your loved ones who probably have contracted the COVID and you're trusting God for their healings I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead healing for them now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus everything that did not work hitherto over your life and your destiny by the word of the Lord I declare return and watch it work now In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take a look at her. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.